Logan's in for Josh tonight, and we're kind of hoping that uh, the weather gets a little bit better because we know a lot of people are planning on doing some you know, all-day shopping tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it was a very windy day, kind of a gloomy day that we had, but luckily we do have some changes if you are going Black Friday shopping for tomorrow. We'll show you what we have right now as we step outside the Dixon City. Temperatures right now below the freezing mark at 31, but also with that wind that we still have, it feels a little bit colder into the 20s, but at least we are dry right now. Still have a mostly cloudy sky across our region. We are going to continue to stay that way as high pressure is in control. So plans for tomorrow if you're shopping, not looking too bad. In terms of temperatures across the region, though, we are sitting pretty chilly mostly across much of the area, especially with that factor in the wind chill. We're seeing temperatures into the 30s right now. I have 36 Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, 30 in Mount Pocono, Pottsville coming in at 39 and Williamsport also coming in at 39 as well. But you factor in those winds, it's a little bit colder. Some areas feeling like we are into the 20s at this point. Now temperatures tomorrow as you're waking up, heading out for some early shopping. I know a lot of people will probably be out at the stores. Temperatures into the 20s as you're waking up early tomorrow morning. But then by lunchtime, we'll see a little bit more sunshine. We will start with some cloud cover. Then temperatures back into the 30s and near upper 30s to around 40 by 2 o'clock. So we are going to have a good day in terms of some weather. But we do have some changes in the forecast. And I'll have a little bit more on that in just a little bit. Temperatures around this time of year still. We're running out below average around 44. But tomorrow will be mostly into the 30s and 40s. 40 Wilkes-Barre, Scranton. Highs tomorrow in Pottsville around 41, 42 in Sealands Grove. So radar and satellite right now, really not much going on as high pressure is in control. You might see a snow flurry or two up in to the northern tier, but most of us are staying dry. High pressure will remain in control as we head into the next few days, and we'll show you that. We'll kind of time out future casts for you. You can see we'll start with some cloud cover for the first part of the day for tomorrow, but then we will have some sunshine in store for the second half of the day. A little bit on the breezy side still, but nothing compared to what we saw for today. Heading into Saturday, we will have a partly cloudy sky to start with, but then as high pressure starts to slowly move off and this area of low pressure starts to move in, we are going to have increasing cloud cover, particularly for later Saturday afternoon as our next storm system moves into Saturday night into Sunday morning. And with this, we are looking for some wintry weather in store, especially for people traveling home for Sunday. We are going to see a mix of rain, snow, sleet, and some freezing rain. So we are going to continue to track this for you as we head in throughout the next few days. You want to keep checking back for some updates. Your eyewitness weather forecast for tonight temperatures into the upper 20s with a mostly cloudy sky and like I mentioned, a lot colder than previous nights, but luckily the winds will die down. Winds will come from the north at 10 to 15 miles per hour for tomorrow, though we'll be have a temperature right around 40. So we are going to see some cloud cover to start with, and then we will have some afternoon sunshine heading into late afternoon winds still a little bit on the breezy side around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Your seven day forecast, like I mentioned, we are tracking that wintry system moving in for Sunday. That's going to provide us with a wintry mix. Then we'll start to see a little bit more snow on the back edge of it heading into Sunday night and possibly even into Monday as well. Temperatures back into the mid 30s as we head into next week. You can always download the eyewitness weather app to your phone or tablet. Get that in the palm of your hand. You can always find more at pahomepage.com.